Well, hi, y'all. It's Scott and Shepard. Just two dudes sitting on the same side of a picnic bench. We've never done this before when we were alone, have we? I don't think so. <laughs> Probably our last time, too. Yeah. But we have an awesome new box here that's arrived from Vortex. And uh, Vortex, over the years, has given us an awesome deal on scopes. They give us a, a good uh, discount, a wholesaler-type discount for a small time. And so we use their gear. And kind of the agreement at the beginning was um, they're going to hook us up with good pricing, but we're going to be completely honest about what we think about their gear. So uh, think about it from that perspective. Know that we may perhaps have some bias, but we're going to be straight about what we think. We've been using, what's the 4.5? Uh, four and a half to 27 Gen 2s, um, the MOA reticle, and have been absolutely thrilled with them. Yeah, and we've used those all the way from, well, we do our Nomad Rifleman from... Uh, it was usually a mile and a quarter, but then since we've been doing the longer, we did 3.06 yeah. miles with one of those, and it was great. We thought about over the years because of the uh, the ATARs, the, the attack ours, attack ours, the night force. Yeah, I mean, and it's such a good reputation. I hear they're great, um, but we just after using the razors, we've never had a reason to use the others. I've mean, used them on other people's scopes and matches and stuff. I've looked through them and just really never seen a reason to. Make the switch. Yeah, I I personally like the glass better, and I like how zero stops work a little bit easier to work with on the Vortex. Um, we did some testing uh, for our extended long range shoot, which I don't know if I should be telling how many miles at this point, but a little over four, we'll say. A little over four, and we were able to easily refine six inch as opposed to over four miles. So uh, that was the original plan, was to go with that. And Vortex uh, has been kind enough to offer this to us, and we're pretty excited. Yeah, this one, we're, we're excited. This is their new, uh, what, what do you have here? Uh, EBR 70 is the reticle or reticule. Um, I hear some people using reticule, and that's more of when I'm doing bench rest competitions, people use reticule. Outside of that, I hear reticle, but anyway, it's the EPR 7D as in David or Delta. Uh, what's the 6 to 36? Yeehaw! Okay, want to do the honors? Absolutely. Uh, it is cool. It's like a, what's that, a mouse pad kind of material? Yep, a little swag going on. Oh, what do you think? You're the technical one. I hear that the, the downside that I've heard about um, Vortex is that the click value isn't as perfect. Uh, it's not as repeatable as some of the other brands. What have you experienced? We have never had that issue. In fact, um, the only issue I've ever had was a parallax issue. I could not refine it at distance. And um, this was just two weeks ago that I got my scope back. Um, actually, they sent me a brand new scope. And uh, amazingly, they said, they checked out at Vortex, uh, but if you're not happy, uh, we want you to be happy, and they sent me a new scope. So I'm hugely impressed with the business. And they got back to me within probably three days of initially contacting me with the problem with the scope and the solution. Whoa, there goes the target. There goes the target. Moving target. No, no, no. No way guys like us you know, the wind was coming up. Is there? <laughs> You're where the wind whispers and it stuck us. So what's that like? So similar in uh, many respects to the Gen 2, with the exception. You got uh, more magnification you're dealing with. This turret is a little bit different than I'm used to. This is almost reminiscent of the Gen 1s. But of course, a beefier main tube on this. Um, this is still a 34 millimeter, right? Yeah. Okay. No. Yeah, let's see. Ooh, that's much smoother is it? than the Gen 2. You're going to like that. Might not even need a throw lever on it? Mm -hmm. Not necessarily, no. Um, I'm always curious how they set zero stop. We'll have to look into that a little bit. Of course, you've got an illuminated reticle. One thing that I love with the Vortex is that uh, Every click is either on or off. You don't have to run the rheostat all the way up, all the way back down, wherever you're at. You turn up one click and you're on if it's off. Um, 
Parallax adjustment, it shows, holy cow. It shows on the parallax adjustment, adjustment at 10 yards. So for those of you that like to shoot uh, small bore and want an amazing spot for small bore, uh, if that really goes down to 10 yards, that would be amazing. That's <laughs> close for a 36 ballot. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so everything else is very similar. You get your sunshade with it, of course. Oh, cool. Send that cool. out. Put that in there. Um, it's the other little box there. So, and this is a little warning. This was something that uh, was mentioned to me when I sent my scope back, and I have heard this in the past. Um, do not exceed 18 inch pounds of torque when you're tightening your ring screws. Um, as I understand it, if you get too close to the turrets, you can end up binding some things up by going over that torque value, and there really is no need to go beyond that. Um, what a beautiful scope. Yeah, and so I, I made the comment about a throw lever. One came with it. Sweet. How cool is that? So whether you need it or not, there it is. A couple Ooh. Allen keys. Look at the tools. Two of those. It's like two different sizes, maybe one for the set yeah. screw and something. Oh, I like that. Look at that. You don't have to carry a coin with you anymore. That just goes right in that slot. Cool. Because I'm sure I won't lose that. <laughs> We're a cashless society anymore. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, that's cool. How does, uh, how does it look? How's the glass look? What do we have across it? Well, we don't have very far. We have maybe a mile and a half miles. Maybe that way we have three or four. Just. And so for those of you, some of you watching this are way experienced and, and some of you are not. Um, you notice the distance that the scope is from Scott's eye. It's called eye relief. And it's hard to do when you're holding it up like this. And so sometimes what I'll do is I'll put the scope up and then I'll use my finger as a guide. I'll put my finger on my forehead and then I can kind of move it closer or further to get it to hold still. Uh, just a little trick. I'm going to pull this off. I just want to check. One of the beautiful things about the Gen 2 was that when you were setting it up initially, um, you are not relegated to uh, a minute of angle click. You can actually fine tune it. If you're off an eighth of an inch, oh, you yeah. can actually adjust it an eighth of an inch. And that is, I don't know that that's exclusive to Vertex. You know, it seems a little less covered uh, than the previous MOA reticle. A little less, a little less cluttered. Okay, um, cluttered. Okay, good. Which I didn't have an issue with the other one, and it also just at first glance appears to have a slightly longer eye relief. We'll have to look at the specs on that. That is like a spotting scope. Because I'm not used to scopes of this uh, magnification. Isn't that nice? So I'm looking down at the Snake River. What would that be? Probably two and a half, three miles away. Yep. Snake River rolling by. I can even, though I'm not holding it steadily, uh, I can make out the willows and their aspens. Yep. Cattle are grazing over there at about three and a half miles. Huh. Yeah, I That's like this a lot. Crazy. It is less. And it also, I'm noticing something on the reticule. The, uh, the hash marks aren't just hash marks. They kind of go up and then they're... Uh, thicker yeah um, that's a cool thing i don't think the gen 2 was just they were straight weren't they i believe so yeah uh, okay <laughs> that's probably how you oh, it in without even having without even cap. having to set your z yeah oh, that's awesome that's really cool yeah we're men we don't use instructions yeah, okay? exactly <laughs> we bring it let's call our wives and ask them to call the company and ask what how do we get there if we want to do this so then this locks it okay. in place, and you already have your zero stop. That uh, Another thing that I love about the Vortex is it gives you the option of going below yes. the zero. Um, for those of us who are hunters, that's awesome. Um, yeah, it's a great system. Um, I, I'm a fan of the turrets on the Vortex. Very, very positive. Uh, certainly not as uh, distinct as a Schmidt and, ben Schmidt and Bender, but you're not going to miss. You're not going to miss one of those at all. Yeah, that's impressive. And so, and and part of my thinking is that 
with the with the exactness of each click, even if there was a problem that Scott's never noticed, I've never noticed before, Vortex, but we've heard this. Even if there is a problem, if you're shooting extreme long range, that stuff kind of goes by the wayside with little tiny changes. For example, we're going a little bit over four miles. How many minutes of angle is each 10 degree or uh, 10 degrees of, of temperature? You mentioned it at me and I can't remember off the top of my head. It was something ridiculous, like one or two MLA. So we're talking over like over seven feet, seven feet ish of difference if you're going from 60 degrees to 70 degrees. And you no. know that your little electronic gizmos aren't going to get it that perfect, as good as you are with a Kestrel. I, I'm not. But even with that, like you're looking for dust at this point, right? And we're not getting the first round hit for the world record. Anything, I mean, maybe someday it'll be like these heroes that I can't believe how they would at two miles they're getting first round hits. Um, maybe they'll do that at four miles someday. But at this point, in 2022, that ain't happening. We're kicking up a lot of dust until, uh, you know, uh, well, what is the lucky uh, squirrel finds an acorn every now and then. So by no means are we saying we can, if we get this shot, no means we're saying we can replicate it. But at that distance, there's so many variables yeah. that if a click gives us order of a minute instead of, or it gives us a half a minute instead of a quarter of a minute, which it wouldn't be that often by that much, it's not going to matter at that distance. There are so many other variables that that wouldn't even really concern me. Maybe the thousand yards uh, shooting on paper it would matter, uh, but we haven't even noticed it there. Yeah. So, uh, thanks for <laughs> watching, and uh, yeah, so far I like what I see. Thank you, Vortex. By the way, Vortex Very is much. sponsoring this. Uh, is one of our sponsors for this uh, world record attempt, and so this one we did not pay for. However, we find something wrong with it. We'll tell you. Thanks. What you've listened to up to now was recorded in the summer of 2022. It is now uh, the summer of 2024. We were fortunate enough later in 2022 to uh, go ahead and set the world record at 4.4 miles uh, using that scope that uh, you were seeing that we're reviewing. Um, since then, we haven't used that scope a lot because it's been on our gun that the closest we can shoot with is three miles, so we don't get a lot of use out of it. However, I've recommended it to a number of my private clients, and I've gone shooting with them numerous times, tried the scopes out, love them. They're, uh, they're great. There's some parallax has been the only challenge. Um, uh, one of my clients has noticed that on uh, two, he bought two of the, the same scope for two different rifles, and he's noticed on both of them that the parallax isn't perfect for his eyes. I sit down behind the gun and I don't have a problem. So I don't know if it's his eyes or if it's the scope. I don't know. Uh, but that could be an issue, but it's not something I've personally noticed. Um, so overall, having used scopes, the, you know, that model numerous times, I recommend it. It's a great scope and uh, I hope you buy one and enjoy it. If you discover that it's wrong, uh, you know, send a message to me, let me know, tell me what you've learned about it. And uh, yeah, happy, happy shooting.